Momentum is a great thing. When you're coming off a great season in which you lit up the stat sheet, people are going to expect you to follow that up with another season that is just as good, if not better. And when you're in that position as a football player, it is your job to not get caught up in all the hype about yourself and stay focused on what's ahead. However, momentum can be halted or interrupted by something very small, and as you'll find out in this video, this could not be more true for anyone than Shock Linwood. Shock had the talent and potential to be a great running back in the NFL, but he let one event during his time at Baylor affect his mindset and ultimately his performance on the field. In this video, we're going to take a look back at the journey of Shock Linwood and find out what caused his inevitable decline. Guys, before we get into the video, I would really appreciate it if y'all like this video and subscribe to my channel if you enjoy my content. It doesn't take long to do and helps the channel to grow. Now, let's get into the video. Shock attended Lyndon Kildare High School in Lyndon, Texas. At Lyndon Kildare, he not only played running back, but was also a quarterback, linebacker, defensive back, and returned kicks. In 2010, as a junior, Shock led his team to a 10-3 record as he ran for 1,473 yards and 18 touchdowns, and had 14 receptions for 138 yards and two more touchdowns. That year, he was named to the 2010 All-District 8 to a team. But his senior year was the year he really made a name for himself as he rushed for 2,105 yards and 25 touchdowns. He also threw for 729 yards and 5 touchdowns as a quarterback, which led to him being named the 2011 first team Class 2A All-State running back, and he was an honorable mention All-State quarterback. He was also selected as the 2011 District 8 2A Player of the Year and was named to the 2011 East Texas All-Area First Team. Coming out of high school, 24-7 Sports had Shock ranked as a 3-star athlete and he ended up receiving offers from schools like UTSA, North Texas, and TCU, but he ultimately committed to Baylor. He decided to redshirt his freshman year at Baylor in 2012, but in 2013, he was the backup running back. As the backup, Shock rushed for 881 yards and 8 touchdowns, which broke RG3's record for the most rushing yards as a freshman in school history that he had set back in 2008. It also earned him freshman All-American honors, and just like that, Shock had started off his college career with a bang. Going into his sophomore season, he came into the season as the day one starting running back, and had high expectations. He did not disappoint as he had 1,252 yards and 16 touchdowns, and led Baylor to their second consecutive Big 12 title. So not only was Shock having individual success, but also team success. During that season, Baylor's offense was their greatest strength as they averaged 48 points a game and at the forefront of that offense was Shock Linwood. Coming into his junior year, Shock was in the running for the Heisman Trophy and proved he was worthy of that honor. In that season, Shock carried the ball 196 times for 1,329 yards and 10 touchdowns. After that season, he probably could have declared for the NFL draft and would have been picked in the top three or four rounds but he decided to come back for his senior year, a decision that would hurt him and his football career more than he could have imagined. During that offseason, something happened that wasn't particularly a huge deal to college football fans, but to Shock, it was a huge deal. That thing was that the head coach of Baylor, Art Bryles, was fired. Now, to some or even most players, this would hurt, but Shock took this harder than anyone expected. He said, he gave me an opportunity to play at a D1 school, a chance to redeem myself and a chance to showcase my skills. The coaching change not only affected Shock, but the entire team. Shock explained how their team felt split and also said that in that time, it was his job to step up as their leader and get them out of that funk, but he never did that. As the 2016 season was on the horizon, Shock was not expected to play much due to his attitude about the coaching change and his non-desire to practice during the week. Shock did not start off the season well, but Baylor did. Although Shock was not much of an impact player during the opening six games of the season, Baylor managed to win those first six games and things were starting to look up for the program. In those games, Shock only had 500 rushing yards and two touchdowns with his best game coming against Iowa State, where he had 237 rushing yards and one touchdown. After that sixth win, things started to head south. 
Baylor did not win another game that entire season and finished the regular season with a 6-6 record. As for Shock, he would not score another touchdown the entire second half of the season and finished with a minuscule 751 yards and two touchdowns. He even got suspended for the Oklahoma game that year due to his poor attitude and performance. He also skipped Baylor's bowl game in order to prepare himself for the NFL. Now, when we think of the NFL, we have to go back to the end of the 2015 season for Shock when he decided to forego the NFL draft in order to stay for his senior year. He said, I don't think I was actually ready for the NFL my junior year. I had the mindset of staying in college. So from that, we can see that Shock did not regret the decision to stay at Baylor. So Shock's decision to skip Baylor's bowl game was not a good one according to scouts. They were saying that after that year, Shock needed more than anything to play in the bowl game in order to build some momentum going into the NFL draft. Shock did not get an invite to the NFL Combine and as far as I can find, did not even get a shot in the NFL. Okay, so now I'm going to give y'all my thoughts on Shock's situation. I think that him not getting drafted was not completely unreasonable. However, the fact that he didn't even get a chance in the NFL is unreasonable. Now, I could be wrong. He may have gotten a shot with some team, but as far as I could find, he did not. I feel like Shock was defined by the bad senior season that he had, and scouts and coaches just looked past the monster sophomore and junior season that he had. He proved he was capable of producing on the field for two years, so the fact that he might not have even gotten a workout or tryout or anything in the NFL is crazy to me. The coaching change at Baylor affected Shock more than people probably expected. But at the same time, no one except Shock will ever know exactly how it affected his mindset. Shock knows more than anybody that going into the 2016 season, he more than anybody should have picked up his team and changed their mindset as the senior running back. But he didn't do that, and he regrets it. At the end of the day, Shock knows what should have happened and what should not have happened, but there's nothing he can do about it now because it's in the past. As humans, we make mistakes constantly and handle situations poorly, even though we know the right way to handle them. Unfortunately, it costs Shock more than it does most people. But that's not the end of Shock's story. Shock ended up getting a chance in the Italian Football League for the 2020 season, and we'll see how he does. When Shock had finished his collegiate career at Baylor, he was the school's all-time leading rusher, touchdown leader, and average yards per carry. But unfortunately, the poor performance of a senior season has opened the door for people to look past just how productive he was. Now he's on a new path and can possibly rewrite his story. Guys, that's gonna do it for today. Again, if you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button and subscribe as that helps the channel to grow. And besides that, until next time.